Tasks for equipment fall into three categories, uh, PM tasks, renewals, and repair requests. Uh, PM tasks, they're planned preventive maintenance tasks that are done on a regular basis, such as oil changes or belt replacements. Renewals, uh, these are date-based tasks, mainly used for like tag renewals, insurance expirations, things like that. Repair requests, uh, these are used to tell the system that a task is required for your equipment that falls outside of any normal maintenance schedule. So it's something that's not already covered with your PM tasks. So this is something that we're going to go over. I'm going to show you how to create a new repair request. So to do so, you'll want to go to your equipment list. On the right hand side, you'll want to click on the action gear for whatever equipment you want to make this request for and then choose new repair requests. So that's one way of doing it. If you're already inside of the equipment profile, you can click on the gear on the top right and choose repair requests. We also have the option of using the plus sign on the very top left next to the search box. This is the new record button and you can also choose repair request here. Most of the time, you'll probably use the action gear from the equipment list to put in a repair request. So let's go ahead and click on this. Because we did this from the equipment list, our equipment ID is already filled in at the top. The repair box underneath is the name of this repair request, so it's whatever you want to fix or work on. If we click into this, there's a drop down box with some repair names already set. We can pick from one of these or we can type in our own. So let's go ahead and type in a new one. So we'll do a fix chain. And notice when I type this in, I have a blue line underneath that says add. That's pretty important. If you click off of this, it will erase what you typed in. So make sure that you click into the blue line. And what that does, it saves the record to the system. When we go through and save this, if I add a repair request in the future, I can choose this fixed chain again. I don't have to type it in every time. Do by, this is how soon the repair needs to be done by. If you leave it today's date, then it's going to be immediately due. Uh, or I can click here and I can set it for a date in the future, let's say a week from now. Uh, if a week goes by and it has not yet been done, then it'll flag it for an overdue task on the equipment list. Requester is who's asking for the repair, and this is pulled from your employee list, so we can pick anybody here. Type, this is the type of repair. Uh, some people use this for, let's say, electrical work or body work. It's an optional field, so you can type whatever you would like here. Priority is optional as well. However, if you have multiple repairs for the same equipment, uh, it would be nice to know if it's a high priority repair or not. In the notes box, you can type in anything you would like, any extra information about why it needs to be repaired or what to do to fix this, anything that would be helpful to you that you want to pull up later. We also have an add picture button. So if you have a picture of, let's say, a broken windshield or, or you know whatever this repair is that you're trying to do, uh, you can take a picture, add it to the request, and then later on, you can pull the request back up and look at the picture. Underneath, we have a save button and a save and new. So if you have multiple re repairs that you want to put in, uh, you can use save and new for that. Otherwise, if it's just this one, we can go ahead and click on save. So notice that my C452 now has an overdue task and it has a wrench to the side. If I hit this blue arrow here, it'll tell me about the repair that I just added. I can even put my mouse over the eye and it'll give me some more information. Likewise, if we go into the unit, go into the tasks tab, and we can filter this by repair request, it'll show me the repair and who requested it along with any other information. If I want to look at more detail, I can click on this line and it'll bring, bring me back to the repair request screen. You can also come back in here and let's say the name was wrong or you type something in wrong or you want to change something, this is a way to go back and fix the repair request data.
When adding a repair request, we'll go back to the screen. So remember this drop down with all these names in here. We can actually pre-populate this list if you have some common repairs that, that are used often to save you from having to type them in. To do so, you would click the gear on the very top right, click on repair names, and this will give you a list of previously added repair names. If I want to remove any, I can use the check boxes and then notice this blue bar comes up at the top and I can choose delete and it'll remove those so they're no longer in my drop down list for future repairs. Or if I want to add more items to this list, I can click on the new button, type in some new repair names and populate that list. Whether you're on the browser on the desktop or using an app on the phone or the tablet, basically anybody should be able to get access to this gear and the repair requests. So if you have a mobile user that's maybe a driver of a, of a truck or a piece of equipment or an operator of the equipment, uh, they can log in with the app as long as you've set them up with an account and create a repair request here. You can limit people from not creating them as well. So on the employees screen, you can set permissions if you want certain people to be able to create these requests and other ones not to be able to. In addition to entering a request from the user interface here or through our apps, we also have a web link that you can set up to uh, basically hand out to any employees, even if they do not have a login to the program or to the website or the app, they can still go to this unique link to set up a repair request for a piece of equipment. So I'll show you how to turn that on. Uh, to do so, you'll click on the gear on the top right, click on organization profile, and then if we scroll down to the bottom here, there's a repair submissions option. If this is checked and turned on, you'll have a link here with a lot of numbers and letters and all these characters at the end. If you provide this, let's say you email this link to somebody, even if they are not logged in, they don't have an email or password to get into the system, they can go to that link. They'll have the uh, equipment list. Uh, we'll pull it up here. So basically it'll look like this. They'll go in, pick the equipment at the top, choose the repair, and save. They won't have access to any other parts of the program, but they'll be able to go in and enter a request. Thanks for watching. You can find more video tutorials on our YouTube channel, or for more information about our software products, you can visit our website at mtcpro.com.